my first funeral was when I was very young. It was a gray day in Colombia, and I was about six or seven, maybe. Mi abuelo on my mother's side had been put to rest, and my mother just told me that he wasn't going to come back. I just didn't understand. I kept thinking, who's going to play games with me, and who's going to let me stay awake later than my parents? And then the priest came over and talked to me and said, Lisa, you're grandfather hasn't died, he just went to the next life. I remember looking right at the coffin and thinking, it's so plain. I just, the funeral's supposed to celebrate his life. Everybody was so modestly dressed and the present that they gave my abuela was so small and it was nothing, it didn't help. And I just kept thinking, he didn't accomplish anything. Mi abuelo and abuela were poor and my family didn't have anything. And so I knew there and then that I must be stronger than him. I had to make money and show him that, that I could be different, make them proud. Especially after realizing that they were so content with having nothing. It's nothing when all these people in my town and in Colombia had so much money. And I thought to myself, these men have so much power and money. Of course they'll have something to spare. And I can use some of that.